Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Orange Galen, and this is Volume 7, Episode 12, with friends like these. I'm still, um, if you haven't noticed already, I'm still doing the same recording spree for Ruby since Episode 9, so I'm still, I'm starting to get a little worn out, <laughs> emotionally worn out from these episodes, um, especially last episode where friggin' all that happened. <sighs> Dang it, James. Dang it, Ironwood. Why why do you do this? Uh, the pressure's getting to him now. All right. I don't really have anything to talk about, so let's get on with the episode. Where the general understands the enormity of this. <laughs> really? Clover? Crow, you should know that I've been asked to bring you in. <laughs> a free ride and a show. There's also an alert out for Team Ruby's arrest. What? Has James lost his mind? He's trying to stop anybody who might get in the way of this inhumane plan. Looks like he underestimated me. Again. Only Crow is under arrest. After everything we've been through tonight, please don't make me arrest you too. Cut it out, both of you. We're almost back to Atlas. Let's talk to James personally. It's taking a very long time for this show to get to the good part. Shut <laughs> up. He's right. Let's get this over with. Robin? <laughs> Fine. I wish it hadn't come to this. It doesn't have to. <laughs> you can hug it out once we've taken it down. <laughs> Thank you for crying, Syrian Airlines. What are you doing? <laughs> he got the hat on. Weiss, what did you do? The general is leaving Mantle to perish? He's saving Remnant. We can't let the relics fall to Salem. But all those people we just protected... They won't survive. We don't have time to- That doesn't bother you? What about your sister? Our friends? My personal feelings don't matter. We have orders. I'm to retrieve the power of the Winter Maiden so we can access the relic. You're here to ensure my safety. Now come on. We've already lost enough time. It should matter. Penny, the general is making hard choices so we don't have to. For the good of all, not just a few. I do not see what is good about any of this. On that we can agree. Please, think about what you're doing. You heard the general. Until this is sorted out, you're under arrest. <laughs> Really? Please, no. don't make this difficult. Don't make us have to get out of here by force. <sighs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> We're not actually going to slug this out, are we? We're not doing anything. They decide what happens next. <laughs> you think you're going to stop us? <laughs> We're the best huntsmen in Atlas. You were. Then you trained us. <laughs> <laughs> That's a uh, do. Come on, Harriet. We're playing right into Salem's hands. You know we need to be working together. Oh, don't give me that crap. I had you kids pegged right from the start. <laughs> This is 
so really. If you come peacefully, we won't hurt you. Speak for yourself. They betrayed us. You're betraying the people you've sworn to protect. <laughs> it's not worth it, Blake. They're just following orders now. <laughs> I know you sneeze are used to getting what you want, but it's time to let this one go. This is my home, and I'm not giving it up without a fight. Uh. Robin needs help. Surrender, and we can take her to Atlas. Get her patched up. Never pegged you for the manipulative type, but I've learned a lot of things tonight. I enjoyed working with you, you know? Even with that endless cynicism of yours. I'm usually proven right. We don't have to fight, friend. <laughs> you don't know my friends. That's how it always goes. <laughs> Did he just break his hand to or his thumb? Oh. Just the sound, the crunch sound. Oh, don't stop on my account. Uh, wasn't planning on it. Really, Clover? That's a free for all now. Me and you have a score to settle. Oh, I agree. So let's say we put the kid to bed and then finish it. Really? I don't know who's going to win in this, because nobody really wins in this kind of situation, but if this is going to be like the power of teamwork versus like the individual or something. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now he works on one or no concentration because he did it on a whole bunch of people in, during the rally. Reminds me of Fairy Tale and Gray versus a uh, racer. We have to stop Ironwood. If he can't access the relic, he can't move Atlas. We just have to get to the Winter Maiden. Blake and I will look for the others. But our scrolls don't. <laughs> Has been Oscar pegged. Must be around here. Oscar! 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 Uh oh, here. that's Neo. No! <laughs> really, Neo? You could have dodged that. This crazy girl showed up and attacked me, but she looks like someone else. Neapolitan. You know her? We haven't exactly heard good things. I hope it will be painless for her. You said your personal feelings do not matter. They won't change my actions. What I'm committed to. The power of the Winter Maiden and the Relic must be kept from our enemies. Even if it means she dies. But yes, Penny. We must still acknowledge our personal feelings. Wrestle with them. It ensures us that we're on the right path. Makes us human. I think. I think I understand. And guess that? who? Is that Cinder? Yeah, that's Cinder. <laughs> of Ironwood's puppets. Lucky me. Cinder, you were responsible for Beacon. For what happened to me. It was, unfortunately, temporary. Now step aside or there won't be anything left to salvage this time. What do you think of that? I think... Mm -mm. It gives me personal feelings. And I feel like Tyrion's gonna take a cheap shot. Sometimes the right decision is the hardest to make. I trust James with my life. I wanted to trust you. Yep, knew that was gonna happen, Tyrion. <laughs> Not so lucky now. Doesn't look like your friend's gonna make it. I'll kill you! Oh, you mean 
Like you just killed Clover. <laughs> ah, here they come. Right on time. Ah! Oh, it looks like our score will have to wait. You know my track record with the authorities. <laughs> Someone had to take the fall. James will take the fall. I'll make sure of it. Gonna end the episode. God damn it. Uh... Damn. Oh, there goes that ship. Uh, why, 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 why? That whole episode, come on. And Crow's bad luck came back at him, teaming up with Tyrion, of all people. Who thought that was going to be a good idea, you know? Come on. Make the right choice, not the stupid choice. Knock Tyrion out first and then take on Clover, come on. <laughs> I was just thinking of Mace Windu's like, He's too dangerous to be left alive. He's like, well, in this case, yeah, they have a point. I mean, he was already a wanted murderer and psychopath, so. Great. Well, god damn it, that was Ruby, episode 12 with friends like these. I'll, probably the next time I'll have a lot more to say about the episode than right now after I've coped with it, but. Uh. Yeah. I, I feel that was another... Like, the whole Ruby and the uh, Special Ops forces, I feel that was another, like, the power of friendship kind of win, if you know what I mean. Of course, you've been watching Fairy Tale with me, so obviously you should know, but... Yeah, that was another power of friendship and teamwork over... Because... Of course, the other two were kind of working together, so... I mean... Yeah, it, it's the whole, like, Ruby is performing on the level of more experienced huntsmen and hunters and huntresses and whatever other adjectives that is that kind of irks me, but it's Ruby, so. Nah, why? I think that was one of the more brutal episodes. The whole, uh, that, uh, that thumb thing. And then, uh, the whole stabbing through the chest part. Poor Clover. Well, we got our first casualty of the season. Or second, really. Excluding the whole massacre, the rally massacre. Uh, and then, oh yeah, and Robin's still there, so I wonder what's gonna happen with, when she comes to, you know? Right. Oh, well, this has been Ruby. This has been Orange Galen. Like, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all later.